Welcome to Starkville, Mississippi, Davis Wade Stadium, where they've got a fever, and the only prescription is more cowbell. What a game, and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Texas A&M Aggies. Taking on another SEC rival, the Mississippi State Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David... in this game and he takes this from inside the five not a lot of space to be found good hustle by the coverage team and they stop him at the 21 so the Mississippi State Bulldogs offense is on the field for the first time today and here he is one of the best receivers in the game and he just commands attention both from the defense and from the fans. Yeah, he's a guy you got to keep your eye on. And you're going to see him line up all over the field in this game. He can play in the slot. He can play out wide. He can run the entire gamut in the route tree as well. Really nothing this guy can't do. He'll do it himself. Now after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. Mississippi State right back to the line. Goes to the option. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Makes a move. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. The Aggies offense will have its first possession of the game. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job. Yeah, David. And they got him for the sack. Well, this guy's had all of college football talking after coming away with three sacks in his first game, and he already notches his first sack in this one. What a terror he has been on offense as early this season. This crowd, full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. Caught on the outside, it's Green. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Getting some heat. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. Well, after having three sacks in their last game, this offense knew they had the IV where this guy was going to line up every play, and they had to have an answer for him. Didn't have one there. He is so strong. He's so fast, and he just knows how to get home to the quarterback. He's got a sixth sense. The Aggies send out the punt team to kick it away. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Let's see what he can do with it. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. From the shotgun, they'll run it. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. They got nothing on the last play at second and 10. Guys, this rough start is hardly what they had in mind to start SEC play, and it's not going to get any heat. Afterburners coming. The 20. They down with this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. And that big gainer on the last one has them threatening from inside the 10. Quarterback on the keeper. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. The Bulldogs are in the hurry up. He'll put the tight end in motion. The run up the middle, trying to power to the goal line. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Mississippi State! 
this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great vision and burst, and he showed all of those attributes right there. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And what a way to finish it with a nine-yard touchdown run. Fielded in the end zone, it's Moss. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Trying play action. And it's picked off. No good place for a turnover, but this one is particularly bad, and they've got it at the 20-yard line. I'll tell you what, when you come out of your own end zone, you know, in the shadow of your own end zone, a lot of bad things can happen. You want to kind of get a few first downs, get some space, so if you punt after that point, you can pin them a little bit deep. This is the exact opposite of what happened. Now you set them up in beautiful scoring field position already. Really bad play by the offense. The offense lining up for a first down play. They move the tight end all over. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop it. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quick pass on the fly motion. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. And the Bulldogs have it in scoring position on first and goal. On the move. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Second and goal for the offense. Slams it ahead. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Bulldogs. You know, this guy's had a big role in this offense this year, especially when they get down close to the end zone. That's his fifth rushing touchdown on the year. He's been a factor for these guys offensively. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 14 nothing. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Missouri is currently trailing in this one, but it feels like the tide may be turning. This program has picked itself up before, and it's capable of it again today. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to Auburn. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Fires to the tight end. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They'll try to get it through the air. Throws to the tight end got him downfield and stampeding through the defense and he was on his way and they get him down at the 30. Texas A&M going up tempo. Well after that last play you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. Pocket starts to collapse. The quarterback all over the place trying to make a play, but eventually he goes down. And they've been waiting for something good to happen with respect to getting after the quarterback, right? They're outside of the top 100 in the country in sacks per game, but finally now, you see they're generating this pass rush. Three sacks on the game so far. First down sack pushes it back. Now it's second down. 
Looking for room. It's Owens. Ran through the tackle, and he's got room to run. And the defense makes a big hit and knocks him down. Here comes third and short from the 24, and this offense does not want to send out the field goal unit. Grab behind the line. It's Owens. And they gave him no chance to get loose, and they force a fourth down. And the field goal unit is on the field. And this one splits the uprights. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. Out of the gun, the inside handoff looking for a crease. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Power football with the run. Just enough there to get it to the 25. They pick up a two. They come to the line facing third and long from the 25. Looking to pass. It's shaping. Pressure coming. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. On the return, it's Moss. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Leaves it with the back. Gets away from one, finds room. They finally get him on the ground with a big running play. Moves the chains for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Tackle is made at the 30-yard line after he picked up four. On second down, he'll let it fly. Caught near the sticks. It's green. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. They'll leave it with him. Pulled down after a pickup of six, but he gets it inside the red zone. It's down at the 15. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Going to the run. It's Moss. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. On third down, going up top. And the pressure is going to get to him, and down he goes, and that's how the first quarter will end. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. They'll try to start the second quarter by putting points on the board with a field goal. It's good.
so after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. On the run from inside his own five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Here comes the Mississippi State offense ready to attack. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Looking for a man. It's shaping. It's incomplete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. Hold it, finds his man on the left. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Second down coming up. They'll go to the ground. Not a lot of daylight. He gets one to the 32. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback bought a little time, but actually bought a lot of time, but not enough time. The defense gets to him. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. Texas A&M will have to boot it away. Second time today, they've been forced to punt. Now on the return. Just a wall of defenders everywhere he looks, and he's guided out of bounds after a short return. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. The defense got caught that time, and they finally get him on the ground at the 41. Mississippi State going up tempo. And with that last carry, into triple digits, over 100 yards for the day. And he's showing you power. He's showing you speed. He's showing you make you miss. He really is showing you he's a complete back. And by the way, it's still the first half. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Trying to get to it. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Dropping back. It's shaping. Going to try to get it himself. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Mississippi State has this drive hitting on all cylinders. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. And here comes the offense on second down. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside. And David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of a spot. They'll throw it on first down. They're trying to get to it. He's got it on the move. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. Operating in the red zone here on second down.
from the gun. They'll try to impose their running game. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Bulldogs! They are seizing control and taking away hope as they push out the lead in this Week 8 showdown. Look, it's still early, but we have some real distance being put on the scoreboard right now. You do. It's early, but you got to find something positive. Right now, everything going in the other direction, so how are you going to respond when you've been hitting the mouth early in this football game? Got to find something positive quick. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Sam Houston was able to come away with the victory, but it was not the type of dominant win we've seen in Huntsville over the years. It's a win, but it honestly lacked any real style points. Takes the handoff. It's Owens. The circle of life in college football where one team moves on feeling like kings and the other heads home licking its wounds. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Texas A&M. Man, this guy is such a weapon because he's so dangerous. If he gets into the second level, great vision, and then David shows you the speed. Just straight wheels, erasing angles. A lot of times when you're chasing guys that are so fast like this, you're like, I got him, I got him. No, I do not. What a big, long touchdown run. Pad those stats, young fella. Lining up to add another. And after the extra point, it's a one-possession game, down 21-13. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. Back and forth we go on these last couple of drives. David, everybody moving the ball. Man, these offenses are in a rhythm. Everything they're doing right now is working a lot of score. This puts a lot more pressure on your offense, Paul, when you walk in the field. At this point, too, David, which defense can break serve, right? Who can get a stop? That's what it feels like is going to be the determining factor in this game. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. Mississippi State right back to the line. Back to pass. It's shaping. He'll pull it down and run. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. Mississippi State to the line with a fresh set of downs. Nice job. Nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Gonna run it. It's Booth. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. They've been able to control the ball. This is the seventh play of the drive. It's third and three. Wide receiver shows motion. Quick pass on the jet motion. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. Offense in the hurry up. This defense really is on their heels. They've been on the field now for a long time on this drive, and they're just getting pushed around at the point of attack up front like we saw on that last call. After losing a couple of yards, it's now second and 12 as they try to keep this drive moving. 
from the gun. The running back has it. On the move at the 30. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. And in this game, this guy has shown you why he's one of the best in the country. He has so much ability at the running back position. Speed, quickness, the ability to break tackles, unbelievable vision. Already now with 150 yards rushing, the defense has no answer for him. They've got to find a way to slow this. And the ball is out. Who's going to get it? Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. In this offense, they like their quarterback running these QB-designed runs like you saw right there. But the defense, they're going to light up every time they see him tote the rock. They know they've got an opportunity to lay a hit on him and create a takeaway like they did right there. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. Then that last drive, if you want to call it that, was efficient. One big run for a score, David. See if they can do it again. Yeah, and I find it hard-pressed. They're not going to give it right back to him. You break that long of a run, get a touchdown, Jesse. I'm assuming he's going to touch it again. You're absolutely right, Dave. Everybody in this stadium, I think, is expecting him to get it again, too. Big-time players make big plays in big games. Let's see what he can do here. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. On third down, he drops the throw. They're bringing heat. And there was no way for this quarterback and down he goes i tell you what if i'm this qb i am ill as a hornet in my offensive line are you kidding me that's the sixth time they put me on the ground dudes will y'all protect me a little bit better please the aggies send out the punt team to kick it away doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt And you make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. They'll try the run. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one. Somehow, it's second and seven. The Bulldogs come to the line in the hurry up. Using his legs, it's Booth. They make the stop at the 37, but not before. He's got 10 yards and the first down. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Found that crease, and they knock him down after a pickup of five to the 32. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Here's the handoff. Defense there to make the stop after a pickup of two to the 30. This is the type of play that decides games. Are you tough enough to convert third and short from the 30? Running back goes in motion. To the air, it's Shapen. Coming after it. Got his man on the outside. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no game land. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. And it's no good. After the missed field goal, still an eight-point game, and guys, more importantly, still a one-possession game. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. Hey, we're getting close to halftime, and it looks as if the big fella wants to be all over the highlights. Goodness gracious, he... He is open. When he leaves the huddle, apparently he's open. A ton of catches already early in this ball game. They are featuring him and finding him. No chance to run, but still a solid pickup on that one. Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. 
He's looking to throw. Getting some heat. Just too much of a rush, and down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Pocket starts to collapse. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. Referee signals timeout as the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll get it out to about the 20-yard line, and that's where they'll mark him down. On first down, here comes this offense. Looking to move it through the air. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. The number one job is to protect your quarterback, and they weren't able to do it long enough that time. This offensive line, Reese, they've got to do a better job communicating pre-snap and try and figure out which people on defense are going to be rushing the passer. Right now, this offense just looks confused up front. This could have the earmarks of a wasted drive if they don't come up with something on second down from the 13. Handoff from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? The defense is going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Slips through the line. He was working his way toward midfield, but they'll stop him at the 46-yard line. Offense set on first down. Back to throw. It's Wegman. Just gets rid of the football. Nobody to throw it to. It'll be second down. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. On second down, they'll take to the air. Pressure coming. And the defense wraps up the first half by taking it to the quarterback and getting a sack. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Gentlemen, you've had yourselves a superb broadcast so far today in Starkville. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas at Davis Wade Stadium. and ready to go here in the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. If they're going to get on top in this game, they're going to have to find a way to get the running game going in the second half. I agree. So it can create some more balance, some more unpredictability. I feel like this defense has got a good lead on what they're doing, especially if they don't mix it up a little bit. So I do look for a little second half running the football call right of this group. And I think the thing, Dave, is they just got to be more physical. I don't think this is a scheme question about trying different run plays. I think it's up to the big fellas up front. They've just got to make the decision that they're going to be tougher here in the second half so we can win this game. Wants to throw on third. Got a man. It's Owens. And they stop him just short of the stick. It'll bring up a decision on fourth down. Texas A&M will have to boot it away. 
They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. Going up top on first down. He's right on target. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Mississippi State going up tempo. They pick up the first down on the drag route. Good job by the receiver knowing it was man coverage. If he's looking, he's booking. He gave his quarterback the eyes right away that says, hey, I'm not stopping. Put it out in front of me. I'm getting this first down. Feeling some heat. He's going to take off. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. A lot of urgency for this offense. Nice job by the QB sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home. Take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. Just too much of a rush. And down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. They try to pop a run on the draw. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. The ball hits at the five, and it'll go into the end zone for a touchback. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. From the gun, running back gets the give. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard gain. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Leaves it with the running back. At the 35, he's loose. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. His offense lines up feeling awfully good after that big play. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. The short hands, it's green. And that is good versatility there, and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Brought down at the 28, a chunk play, 15 yards on that one, and a first down. The Aggies are rolling down the field. Motion from the offense. To the air, it's Wegman. Makes the grab on the left. Great move there. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. And the Aggies come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll run it. It's Owens. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yard. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. The give to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Shotgun snap. Wants to throw it on third. Trying to get to it. And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. And that is a major reason why this team is losing the football game. They can't protect the quarterback. They can't generate big plays in the passing game because up front, they're getting beaten time and time again. And this kicker is turning into old reliable. He's already knocked through a couple today. No, oh, no good. That one could have helped out a bit there, guys, but still an eight-point game. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Looking for a man. It's Shapen. 
They're trying to get to it. Trying to make magic with his feet. They finally get him on the ground, but not before he rips off enough for a first down. And the Bulldogs in the hurry up. I love the play call there, too, because second and short, defense is thinking you might run it. So you try to catch him off guard with the pass. Nothing there. Even if you throw an incompletion, you're going to have a chance to run it the very next play, but it doesn't matter. This guy's just so athletic himself. He's able to go get the first. He's got a fresh set of downs. They'll run it from the gun. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to bully their way for the first. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. From the gun, running back on the move. You'll take this every time, five yards on the first down play. And now on second down for this offense. They'll run the toss. And he is going to lose yardage. Nowhere to run as he is forced out of bounds. This will be the seventh play of the drive, and they need to convert third and six. And off from the shotgun. And this one will be stopped for no gain. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. Comes out throwing on first down. Fires to the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Going to run it. It's Moss. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Off play action. Throws to the back. Finds his man. It's Owens. They'll wrestle it down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. On third and short, the power run here. Looks as if Texas A&M will have enough for the first down. Ready to fire from the pistol. Might as well give it to him again. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Out of the gun. The running back has it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. To throw. It's Wegman. They're bringing heat. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give to the lone running back. There to make the stop, and we've played three in this one. As we head to the quarter break, Mississippi State has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Maybe this will breathe the little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He pushes his way down to the floor as they get closer and closer. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. Keeps it on the bootleg. Coming after it. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Aggies. He didn't see anyone open. He said, no problem. I'll take care of it myself. Yeah, I've been there before. Been there, done that. Not my first rodeo. I've been in this kind of situation. Down by the goal line, I'm getting outside, and I'm taking it in myself. They 
They got the touchdown, but still a two-point conversion short of tying it up late. Trying to punch it in. He's not going to make it in as his defense comes up with the stop on the two-point conversion to hold on to their lead. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. They still have the lead here, Jesse, but this would be a good time to put together a drive. You're right, Reese. You can't rest easy right now. You just watch the opponent drive down the field and score a touchdown of their own, so you've got to answer that here. Your playmakers better step up. And I don't know what it is about momentum. In all the locker rooms, in all the years, coaching, everything, you can't quantify it, you can't measure it, and the momentum has swung to the other side. You've got to get it back. Scanning the field, it's shaping. Getting some heat. They get an up rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. It has been said that the other team's quarterback must go down, and he must go down hard, and he did. <laughs> and often is good, too. The most you can get to him, but great job by the defense, rushing the quarterback, understanding pass, and getting the big fell on the ground. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. On the return, it's Moss. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. The gift to the tailback. At the 35, he's got room. And he's brought down after a nice game. The Aggies headed quickly to the line. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Fires to the right. It's caught. And what a throw to get it in there. They've got it in business in the red zone at the 13. In the red area, it's Moss. Pulled down after a pickup of five. They'll mark it at the eight. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll give it on the counter. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. Already in prime field goal position, but they would love to score a touchdown to take the lead. Touchdown, Aggie! They've got the lead here in the fourth. Man, I love this offense, being able to run the football late in the game when it matters and punch it in for the touchdown and, more importantly, take the lead. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is good, and the lead is five here in the fourth. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Hey guys, let's get you up to speed on what's going down in this fun college football game today. Southern Miss is in front. They've controlled the line of scrimmage today, but they still have some work to do to put this in the win column. They're up by just two over Arkansas State. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day, guys. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on him for us. That's the way to start a drive. Now they'll snap it just shy of midfield. Coming out on first down with the play fade. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And there's no mystery as to why this team's losing today. They've given up five sacks. They cannot keep their quarterback upright. And you just saw another example of it right there. He has never been able to get into rhythm throwing the football. A big play for the defense with the first down sack. Now, advantage D as the offense comes up on second down. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. 
Back to throw. It's shaping. Pocket starts to collapse. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. This quarterback is thinking to himself, I need to get an NIL deal at some restaurant so I can take my offensive line out and feed them more because I don't think they like me very much right now. I've been sacked six times in this game. It's time to get that new NIL deal paycheck. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. Running it back, it's Moss. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Off the play fake on first down to throw. That's reeled in. It's Owens. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Let's see what they've got on second down. Off the play fake. Throws to the wideout. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get that. Looking for space. It's Owens. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. Unloads it left. Got his man. And it is a chunk play. A huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Fast motion from the offense. Quarterback keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The lost yardage leaves him with second and 11. Looking to throw, it's Wegman. Unleashes one deep. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Aggies! They're on the board again, and it looks as if this winning streak is going to continue. And a really nice job understanding I got to get to that gap where there's a little bit of open space in the middle of the field when I run that post route. QB lays it out for him, and he catches it, gets two feet in bounds in the end zone, touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, the lead is a dozen here in the fourth. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The give on the inside. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. The Bulldogs want to crank the tempo. Now the play fake. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Looking to the big tight end. Grabbed in the middle. It's ball. And he gets it done on third down. They move the chains, and they'll mark it at the 44. Well, trailing like they are right now in the fourth quarter, their execution offensively is just going to have to be at a premium. You can't afford a lot of incompletions at this point. Everybody is going to need to be on the same page moving forward. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. That kind of pickup on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. Looking to throw, it's shaping. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Oh, it looks like the offense was able to recover it. Well, ball security doesn't just apply to running backs and receivers. QB's got to keep hands on the ball as well. And they're very lucky after that fumble that the offense jumped on. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure coming. 
And this defense goes back to back sack, Jack. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Makes a catch past the sticks. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. They'll throw it on first down. Feeling some heat. Nowhere to go with the ball, and down he goes at the 39. After losing a couple of yards, it's now second and 12 as they try to keep this drive moving. He's looking to throw. He's going to fire deep. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the right. Can't make the play on the interception, and man, they were looking for their first pick of the game. Instead, it'll be fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Looking left, and that pass is intercepted. Bringing it back. He's at the 40. Running inside the 20. And he has taken it all the way back. Touchdown, Texas A&M. They extend this fourth quarter lead, and now they are staring at a seven-game winning streak. Yeah, and that just might do it. Man, offense needed points, needed points badly. Defense comes up with the big interception, takes it all the way back just to pad their lead a little bit and make this game almost, almost out of reach. They'll try to add another to their lead. And no problem on the extra point as they push the lead to 19 here in the fourth. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Smashes through the tackle. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Looking to go up top on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man all by himself. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. Looking downfield, it's Shapen. Trying to get to him. And the ball's loose. And the fumble is going to go out of bounds, and the offense will maintain possession. When you start to get that offense going and start having success, you've got to make sure when you get close to the scoring range, I take care of that football. If you don't, coach is going to go you on the sideline, you in the game. Third down for the offense after recovering their own fumble. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And he sacked a big play on fourth down to stop this drive. I think after failing on the fourth down, guys, you look at the scoreboard, you look at how much time is left. I think they're going to lose this football game. This coaching staff is going to have to dig deep and try to find ways to get this team better next time they take the field. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. 
What a feeling this has to be, David, in complete control and headed toward victory formation. Yeah, no stress, under a couple minutes left in the ball game. Well in hand. These are the ones, Jesse, you like to just run the clock, take a knee, whatever you want. No doubt. They're going to love watching this game film, too. There's just so many positives to take away from this, and this is the kind of performance today that is really going to help this offense's confidence. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. We sensed a great deal of confidence, almost a smugness from this coaching staff. And these guys on the field, it's as if they knew they were going to win. Yeah, playing with a bit of a chip on their shoulder, and I think they really felt like they had a real good game plan offensively and defensively coming into this one, David. There were some matchups on the field they thought they could exploit. We saw that happen. No doubt. Good job by this coaching staff, understanding who's out there to make plays, feeding them the football, offense, defense, special teams, all working together to get the W. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.